Well, hello there, person. Let's check out what's new and what's fun. Making the game Wraith Binder. Um, oh, yeah. I've been working on the training world. Let's go to the training world. I showed this last week, but uh, let's go ahead and um, show it again. Um, because I've finished some things that are really kind of cool. This is actually makes the training world really fun. In fact, I'm trying to think about ways I can incorporate these new fun things that I added to the training world into the regular battle world and the regular teams world. So, um, let's check this out. We're going to go ahead and play through this training world. You start off, you go over here and you grab the uh, your blade. These triggers are a lot more... Um, clear. It's clear what you should be doing. I already mentioned that in last week's video, though. Okay. Just ripping through this fast style so we can get to the fun part, the new part. Hey, you might actually notice I have a better audio quality on my mouth. My mouth has a filter. <laughs> No, actually, I got, I got a microphone, finally. I've been trying to slowly upgrade my old videos, right? Giving you this nice, really nice camera. Have you noticed how pixel clear my, my face is right now? And then now the audio? Because I got an actual webcam and an actual podcasting mic to do some, do some damage. Okay, so here's one of the new things where you go up here and you can um, learn how to use your bow and you hold to lock on this target and that little thing I'm locked onto right now is called a hit switch I'm thinking of ways I can put this in the battle world so for now here's it is in the training world you just aim your bow at it you can lock onto the target you can walk around and then stay locked on and uh, you just shoot your arrow and boom that's a switch so whenever that thing takes some damage it um, it unlocks whatever it does like whether that's a bridge or whatever else so here's the other new fun part where um, bot this bot when I when I kill this guy he's gonna be on my team and he'll actually follow me up here we'll fight a little two-on-two -two battle versus some other bots and he can pathfind and all that kind of stuff so if I hide over here in the grass he'll actually find me What's up, Era? Let's go fight these guys. Come on, dude. Or do that. So this actually is pretty interesting. I've had a, a time where I played the training world, and um, I had, I, well, what happened here? Where basically I killed one of the wraiths. It became on my team. And then my wraith that I had before died to one of the other wraiths. So it became another two-on-two -two battle. But the teams had flipped. Or the teammates had flipped. Did we get everybody yet? I'm just going to let my bots actually kill the last guy here. Oh, nope. See, that happened again. The bot killed my bot. Oh, this is actually really interesting. Let's just let them fight for a second. Let's see what happens. It's pretty interesting. They don't know what they're doing because there's grass around here. They're like, uh, what's going on? Oh, and he, for some reason, that guy can't pick up his weapon. That's weird. Okay, this is just turning into nothing. Nonsense. Okay, bug. Bug! Gotta fix that. Anyways, let's just, let's just, uh, what, 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 whoa, whoa. Okay, there we go. But you kind of get the point, right? This is interesting that um, the you can fight a two-on-two -two battle, and you really kind of get the point of Wraithbinder at that point. You're like, okay, I understand that in Wraithbinder, when I when I kill someone, you're basically getting them on your team, and um, and then they fight with you. So I'm thinking of making the AI in the actual battle world um, able to follow you around. So right now. Everybody in the everybody in the bots, all their AI just makes them kind of follow their own path. They choose whatever the heck they want to do, and um, so I'm thinking of making it so they actually can follow you. So maybe sometimes instead of choosing to follow their own path or go off on their own, they'll follow you around and do something cool, like really be your active teammate. 
which would be sweet. So uh, another cool thing that actually has been added is that um, you get, you've always gotten um, experience and gold rewards and planets. So that's, there's some gold. Um, but you also now get weapons too. So you get item drops out of these chests. So I'm kind of rearranging, playing with this idea of instead of instead of buying everything from the store, you actually get to pick up items, and then maybe you can sell items to the store. So it's very Diablo-esque. It's really I'm like I'm not doing anything unique in here, but it is very fun to get these item drops. So maybe this will be how it works instead of the other way. So playing around with this. How is the light going to work where you, you up your character's abilities and things like that? How are your credits going to work where you buy items or sell items? And of course you get these coordinates too. You can go travel to different planets where you can play different modes of this game. So let's go ahead and... Um, oh shoot, we could just... Let's not even turn the game off. Let's go over here to the helm. Let's do this the fun way. We're going to use the helm. And in fact, you notice... The, check this out. This is kind of interesting. Um, we've got camera stops, right? I mentioned this in last week's video, but we have camera stops. But when you get near important items like the helm, for example, the camera stop stops. So no more camera stop when you're near important things. All right, so we want to go to Vixon. That's the battle world where we're going to see the next interesting, new, fun thing with Wraithbinder, which is um, secret paths. So this is really, really interesting. Adds a really... Um, Fresh element? I would call it fresh. That's a good adjective to use in this case. Secret paths make it even more interesting because we already have this procedurally generated battle world. Now we have secret paths within the procedurally generated battle, battle world which make it more fresh. So sometimes you'll find them. I don't know, I don't know where this is, what this world is. This is procedurally generated. I have no idea where the secret pass would be. Maybe there's one there? No? Got it. Huh. There's a switch. Sweet. Leveled up. Let me get the bow. Maybe there's a switch here. No? No? Nothing secret there. Huh. We'll find him. Come on, let's go find him. Oh, there we go! There's a secret path. Nice. And you get some experience for that, right? So when you find these secret paths, it's a nice little EXP boost. We'll teleport over to this other corner of the world. Ooh, some mat matter points. I'm trying to think of something interesting to put on these maze screens right here. It's just, there's nothing but a block in the middle. There should at least be an item there, right? That's, that's boring. You can, you can get some matter out of that, but there should be something else. It's really fun to be at this point in the game where we got this. Um, well, I'm just I'm walking around that because I want to save it for later. That's some health. But yeah, you get the point, right? Secret pass. Let's find at least one more before this video is said and done. How about? Oh, there it is. Love it. I love it so much. I've also been playing around with slowing down the time that it takes for the world to erode so there's an erosion counter that basically after a certain time the world starts crunching in on itself and until you finally pushed into the middle and everybody has to fight each other and uh, that time limit has really been pushed up so it used to be like two or three minutes before the the erosion started happening now it's more like five minutes i would guess and um that makes it that makes it so you can really play a lot more because there's because of these procedural worlds, um, it's it makes it so it's just a lot more interesting to play. You, you don't really get bored of playing these worlds because there um, there's so much to do, there's so so much to discover because you don't know what it is every time. So that said, you can have a lot more time before the world starts to erode. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna go ahead and keep this message uh, this. Um, this transmission, let's call it a transmission, huh? Um, well, I'm gonna call this transmission good and, and done for for now because um, those are all the things I wanted to share with you. So, person, thank you for watching this video, and uh, we'll catch you next time. All right, later. <laughs>